Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be designing together an e-fashion app, okay, from scratch. And I will also be giving you pointers on how to improve your UI design skills. Plus, plus, you will be getting a free Figma file at the end of this video. So guys, let's just get into it, okay? So first, let's create a new Figma file. If you don't already have Figma, then head on to figma.com and register. So from the home screen, select new design file, give the file a name, let's say Figma mobile app, and here we go. Okay, I already have some research done and you can grab this template from the description, okay? It's free. But listen, one thing you should never do is design without some form of research. You should always keep your target audience in mind because their needs and their goals are what you should design for. Remember, you are not a pixel pusher, you are a UX designer, okay? The next step would be to draw some inspiration from already existing designs. I could, for example, go on Dribble, Behance, Mobbin, type the keyword I'm searching for, like fashion or e-commerce. Take screenshots of these designs that I find interesting and useful and bring them into Figma. So here I already have a screenshots taken and a separate page for this that I've named Moodboard. And like I mentioned on the page, you can find all screenshots and inspiration that I've collected. But to create a new page in Figma, you just have to click on the plus icon from the layers tab on the left and give the page a name, okay? Okay, next step, creating wireframes. My advice to you would be never to jump into high fidelity designs without wireframes, because wireframes serve as a foundation for your final designs without the distraction from colors and images, you can actually focus on getting the structure and the content right. So let's create a page for wireframes. So like we did before, on the left hand side, click the plus icon from the layers tab to add a new page. I'm going to call this page wireframes, okay? Cool. But I already have this, so I'm going to delete this and select the already existing wireframes page instead, okay? So here I have a splash screen, I have a home screen, and a product details screen. Now, these are all wireframes. Notice that we have no colors, no images, no illustrations, just basically a skeletal structure of what the finished design would potentially look like, okay? And like I said earlier, please do not skip this step. It's very important that you get the structure right before any further visuals, you know? Okay, so let's start with high fidelity designs proper. Let's start with the splash screen. So hit F to create a new frame. I'll choose the iPhone 14 plus frame from the design tab on the right. But one trick that I like to use to import full screen images is that I'll first create a shape like a rectangle and then I'll use that shape like the rectangle as a container for the image and I do this because if there's any edits that I need to make it won't be directly on the parent frame you know what I mean so click on the rectangle from the toolbar go to the design tab on the right click on fill change the fill to image then click on choose image and import your image hmm so this image is a little too bright for me Two ways that I can solve this. One, I could click on the image from the design tab on the right and play around with the contrast, see the contrast, and the exposure of this image. Or the second option would be to add a dark fill to the rectangle. So I'll select the rectangle from the right hand side and click on fill. Reduce the opacity to say 38% mm, would do. Yeah, this looks so much better. Yeah, yeah. Next, I'll add the brand name and also a call to action button. So if you notice, these are components. 
Okay, notice the purple outline. To understand components better, let me take you to the mini design system that I have. By the way, this file is free. Everything, okay? Get it from the description below. So notice in the design system, I have these components. When I click, you see the purple outline, right? You guys, components make your life so much easier as a designer. So how do you create components? Let's learn how to do that. I'm going to use this button as an example. So I'll start by typing the button text. Mm -hmm. Then I'll hit Shift plus A on your keyboard. Then add some fill color from the design tab on the right. And I will fix the pattern. To make this a component, you can either use the keyboard shortcuts option plus command plus K on Mac or on Windows control plus alt plus K. Or you can also just click on the diamond shape on the top toolbar here, okay? And there you have a component and now I can reuse this component as many times as I want across multiple screens. And that's something, okay. So back to the designs. So to use this component that I created, I will just go to the Assets tab on the left-hand side. So click on Assets, select the components that I want and wish to work with. So I'll add the brand name and I will add a call to action button. Mm -hmm. Just these and the splash screen is ready, guys. So let's move to the home screen. I already have the header as a component, right? But I'll redesign this so you can see how this works. So first I need some icons and I got all these icons from a plugin called Material Design Icons. To install this plugin, just right click on the page, go to plugins, select find more plugins and type in the name of the plugin, okay? Material Design Icon. Hit enter and click on run. So now you have the plugin. So now when you right click again, plugins, material design icon, you see it's available and it's visible for selection, okay? So you can download all icons that you need. So let me go ahead and download the connection, Wi-Fi and battery icons. Then I will grab the text tool just hit T on your keyboard from the top toolbar and type the time. Mm -hmm. Then I'll select all four, select, 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 and hit Control or Command G to group them together. And if I wanted to make this into a component like I showed you before, I'll just hit Control Alt K on Windows or Option Command K on Mac. Okay, you get the drill. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the already created header component from the Assets tab. I will hit O on the keyboard to grab a circle and Control or Command D to duplicate this as many times as I want. Let me check the spacing between each object, you guys. Okay, so to make sure there is some consistency like in terms of spacing, what you can do is you can just like select the object, click on Alt if you're using a Windows or Option on a Mac, and then you can see the spacing between these items. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's some consistency here. Okay, now I will add the images. So to do this, select the circle on the right, click on Fill, change solid to image, Click on choose image and add the image that you want. Mm -hmm. And I will repeat this process for the other. And I'll do the same for the section, but instead of circles, I'll use the rectangles or frames and add the text, okay? Select rectangle, go to fill, change solid to image, then choose image, Okay, import the image into the object and I'll do this for the others as well.
Okay, and then I will add some text, okay? And there you have it, the home screen is ready. So I'll leave the product details screen as an assignment and I want you to create this on your own and submit, okay? Remember, practice makes you better. So just put your own styles, colors, images, you know, just style it how you want. And I will be reviewing this and all your submissions in another video. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe so I can bring you amazing content every single week, you guys. You can also check out my merch and you can also visit my website, designfoundry.info to stay up to date on all information. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.